And now, an Action News special report. The next time a dentist puts a crown in your mouth, you want to make sure it's not toxic and filled with lead. Tonight, the American Dental Association is warning you to ask questions before any dentist starts work on your mouth. Look closely at the gum line in these pictures. The darkness is a guarantee that some sort of metal has been used. Over time, this is what your mouth would look like if a dentist used lead. You'll find different uh, levels of lead in water and, and different foods and that sort of thing, but definitely there's no place for it in dentistry. But unfortunately, lead has turned up in dentistry. This woman knows firsthand. They were very uncomfortable. They hurt. In fact, the American Dental Association recently issued this statement alerting dentists about a dental crown made overseas in China that tested positive for lead. What's happening is that some dentists are trying to cut costs and buying crowns made in China. The problem with it is it's mass production. It's a cost factor. It's the big dollar. The Nevada Dental Association is now warning Nevada labs and dentists about the problem from some Chinese labs. Because of the price structure, what happens is, is they, they use sometimes outdated materials or older materials, uh, and materials that aren't uh, current. This is where our consultation room is. Las Vegas dentist Joe Willardson and, uh, agrees. Probably 50% of the patients that I see, I'm fixing old dental work. And a lot of that is due to the materials that were used. Dr. Willardson refuses to use any metal in patients' mouths. He showed us the difference between a crown made with metal versus one made with porcelain. The dark tooth seen here has metal and will block an x-ray. Dr. Willardson says his office has a full lab on site. That way he controls what he's putting in your mouth. There's no rules saying what I can or can't put in a patient's mouth, and I think that there, there probably should be. Contact 13 asked Dr. Willardson to buy crowns from China so we could test them for lead. But the labs in China never responded. Once media uh, gave us attention on, on the dental work, I think they got wise to it, and we didn't receive any responses back from them. So here's the Contact 13 bottom line. Since there's no regulation of dental labs, it's incumbent upon you to ask questions before you have any dental work done. Also, ask your dentist which dental lab they use and whether or not they do business overseas. You can also do a background check online for a dentist. And make sure you do ask for references and credentials.